Welcome to New York in Times Square. We're here for a special series of episodes over the next few weeks, so... Let's start the show. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh-uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh-uh. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh-uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh-uh. I wanna make you shit, make you sweat, make you uh-uh. I wanna make MetroCard is the quick and easy way to travel around New York City so you need to buy a MetroCard either like a paper ride one or you could buy a seven day one so you need to start the language MetroCard get a new card because I don't have one right now unlimited ride I'm not here that long, so it's seven day, and I'm paying with cash. You didn't get your right change. What are those? Are those dollars? I don't know, but I didn't get my right change. I think that I have been away way too long. This is the right change. I just have never seen them in coin format. Six dollars and different colors. You've got a silver one and Goldie color. I thought that I was being ripped off. I was like, what? <laughs> what the heck is they going? They were in there all along. Okay, so I don't need to get someone after all. The, the green dome indicates that it is open for usage 24 hours a day whereas the red ones are for exit only's on the subways There is central air conditioning on all these New York City subway, so this will keep you particularly cool when it's really hot outside.
subway is quite easy, but please refer to a map because it can be a little bit confusing. So just look at where the destination is and try to plan your route from there. There is no need to swipe on the way out. All you have to do is just go through the turnstiles. That's it. The MTA has brought out this contactless thing called Omni. You pay for 12 rides and then afterwards it will be free thereafter. So it will treat it as an unlimited after you pay for 12 rides. But the only trick is, is that it's only good from Monday to Sunday. So it doesn't really care about anything in between. So that might be the only bad thing about this current system. Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep watching. Central Park is so vast that you can enter from various points north, south, east and west. Today we have chosen the south west corner at Columbus Circle and it is named after Christopher Columbus. Isn't that right Paul? And that's his globe behind. So this is an iconic globe because you know that you're at Columbus Circle because of the globe behind us. And next to us, in the next um, street over, is the Columbus Circle Mall. And it's quite vast, there's a lot of shops, so you, you may want to check out that area as well. And I think here. it's also home to CNN at uh, the Columbus Circle Mall. They've got their studios in there. But today, we are going to check out this part of Central Park. Central Park has got all these inspirational quotes from visitors, including this one. The park helps me find beauty in the details. I have countless fleeting moments in the park that have brought me pure joy. And that is from Miss D. Mimi, a Central Park visitor.
And here's another one from Jose, assistant manager at the park. I'm inspired to work in the park every day as it gives a lot to New Yorkers. Let's take a look at where we are in Central Park. We are all the way down here by Columbus Circle and here is our actual location. Normally we also come in through the southeast side at, which is down here. The zoo is located a short walk towards right over here. I don't recall going to some of these northern places. It is quite vast. Um, there is the there is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I don't recall ever coming to the reservoir. I don't recall seeing the tennis courts, and I don't believe that I've gone north towards the Harlem area. You could easily spend a whole day here exploring everything it has to offer. And maybe that's not a bad idea considering how hot it is right now in New York. I'm sure you'll see a lot of interesting people. They are out jogging, they are on bicycles, and yeah, I think it, they are just trying to beat the heat while also getting in their exercise. Even within the park, you can get some idea of the vastness of the buildings around. Oh, there's one that I recognize over there, um, Essex House. That's one that I've seen many times in the past. So there's a one-way operation uh, for uh, cyclists and other wheeled devices, as they say. I guess that means scooter, buggies, Rollerblades, cars. Oh, I suppose so. I suppose they are the devices. Well. Yeah, they are. And because cars, private cars, are allowed through parts of the car, is that right? And taxis, and of course, they've got their own uh, park transportation as well for maintenance. So I think that certain areas of the park you are able to drive through so that you're able to go from west to east and east to west yes because if you look at the, the map or at least the map online um, the park west to east is split into five segments separated by main thoroughfares yeah that's true I hear birdies chirping. Look, they are down on the ground, snacking away. <laughs> oh, I do like a good lantern. you can pick up an audio guide that gives you tips and tricks for various parts of the park and it comes in English, Spanish and French. 
there are children's play areas, swings, places just to sort of lie down and catch some sunshine. You'll find around the park people selling odds and ends. I'm not sure if they need a license for that. Um, but there are official park stands for ice cream, pretzels, hot dogs, water, bagels, other various types of snacks. Oh, I like this, these areas with the, with the stones. And the thing that you've got to remember, Paul, is that the park is completely man-made. Central Park is man-made, you know, they've constructed things to look like rocks and they've pieced everything together. Various types of trees, including the English elm here. And of course, all the trees do provide fantastic shade on a hot day such as this. Yes, it's a bit too hot for comfort. Although if you're here in the winter, I wouldn't stand under a tree in a thunderstorm or even a, th a thunderstorm in the summer. It's busy here this morning, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at the sausage dog. That's not a sausage. Oh, what's happened to the lawnmower? Where'd he go? He's just abandoned it. He's over there. Sometimes it's just nice to sit down and rest your weary legs. Are you in a desperate need of the toilet? Well, if you are, there are various toilets located throughout Central Park. Central Park has got several sporting arenas such as this baseball or softball park and there are also tennis courts. Look at the view. And over there, the sign says, Welcome to the neighborhood. Mm. Look, isn't that the statue of Christopher Columbus there? Ah, oh, yes. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the URL for our show. Why don't you just Google it?
We are at the Empire Outlets in Staten Island. We are at the restaurant called Wasabi and enjoying a nice Michelob Ultra and a Sapporo. Definitely a Japanese beer. So waiting for our chicken teriyaki and salmon teriyaki to arrive but enjoying the nice ambience and jazz type music right now. Well, this is my salmon bento box. It looks absolutely fabulous. And Marcus ordered a chicken bento box. And look, it comes with the chicken, the veg, the rice, the sushi, the seaweed, and sumai. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's tuck in.